pelvis. Yeah, yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lift your pelvis about an inch, maybe two, off the ground. And we're going to hang out here for a minute. Yeah, notice how there's already like a, like a yeah. wobble to you. Don't feel like you have to restrict yourself. Just a second to notice what's going on in your body. Yeah, it's always nice to take a breath in. And it really, you know, you can start to notice how the breath goes into you and how it assists in helping the tremors move. So this time, just squeeze your knee, keep your feet together, and squeeze your knees just an inch or two, just micro movements. Lay the pelvis on the ground. Yeah, and just squeeze the knees together. I'm going to hang out here for a second. <sighs> How is this for you so far? Tremors, I can do I feel that and it feels relieving. Relieving, yes. Go ahead and squeeze the knees together just another inch or two. And just let that pelvis rest on the ground. every now and then I'll just ask you to look up and look kind of around and that way you can just kind of see what's going on around you and check in with me and then you can close your eyes again and just notice the difference when your eyes are open yeah. to when your eyes are closed letting your pelvis still rest on the blanket. It's not so easy. Mm -hmm. But it, I mean, it, 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 it does what is, it does its work. automatically feel like it's making you breathe right away. Yeah, yes. Thank you. Now remember, with the heel, feet together like that, yeah. it starts to get difficult squeezing yes. the knees. So you can let the bottoms of your feet yeah. go down to the blanket, flat, or you can stretch out for a moment. Yeah, just take a moment. Yeah, you can integrate yeah. that. Hmm. Yeah, that was pretty intense. Intense? Yes. What did you notice? Oh, well, just a amount of energy, power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that I, uh, I've never used there before. Power of energy that you've never used before. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can even bring the feet just together and then separate them out, just like if you were to, yeah, just feet. ever so slightly. Yeah. Now this time, we're gonna let the knees come a little, about an inch or two apart. That's a pretty big inch for you. Yeah. Let's try to keep some micro movements in there. Okay. <laughs> there you go. You can 
also draw the feet just a little closer to your pelvis. how you can play with that mm -hmm. and find that rhythm again. Now, everybody's different, yeah. so you're going to have your own rhythm, you're going to have your own way of moving. So just hang out where you feel it and we'll just spend some time there. How far do you feel in the tremors come up on you? Belly button. Belly button. Cool. But they go down to my feet. And you go to your toes. Yeah. Cool. Yep, so let your knees just fall about another inch. Yeah, see how your body's kind of like doing this thing? Mm -hmm. That's all part of it. Mm -hmm. That just feels good. Yeah, it just feels good. So we want you to have your, it feels good. Yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. What's the most interesting thing? Well, that I'm true. That uh, my body's doing this actually. Yeah. By myself, and I. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. There, there is a constant question that your brain or our brains have asked, at least in my experience. Am I contriving this, or is my body doing, doing this? It, yeah. And it, it's kind of a funny play because. You, you might contrive it a little bit because it feels good, mm -hmm. but then the muscle release just takes over, takes over, so the body does it on its own. That's what I felt from the beginning to the end of this, you know. Hmm. And then maybe let the thighs come just a little bit farther down. Peel apart? Sure. Is there a difference if you were to put the soles of your feet down, but still keep the thighs open? Yeah, mm. yeah there you go. Does that change it? Mm. You get some wobble uh, going on. Yeah, it does change it. Yeah. Mm. Is it pleasurable? Is it yeah. kind of awkward? This is different. This is yeah. different. Yeah, I like. Yeah, just take a second. You can also put your push your feet together and just kind of rest, or you can let the feet go all the way straight out. There you go. It starts to help modulate yourself. Yes. Feel like yeah, the, the, the night, but like feel energy flowing. You yes. feel energy flowing. Yeah, come put your arms where you feel to. You want to move. And again, let's place the soles of the feet all the way down. There you go. Bend the knees a little bit closer to your pelvis. There you go. Yeah. And then see if you can go right back to where you felt it. You felt the tremors. Ah, interesting. Ah, I got <laughs> Yeah, I have one spot. <laughs> that one spot. I have one spot I'm heading here. And 
what spot is that? Where do you feel that in your body? Uh, oh, it's all over now, but it's mostly thighs, buttocks, down to my toes, up to here. Nice. But very inner. Very inner thigh. Mm -hmm. And again, that's, you know, we're releasing that so as naturally. Yeah. So you might be able to feel those attachments down closer to the knees and then all the way around how it wraps around to your spine. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. And of course it helps when you say it because it makes my brain think about those spots. 